Hello. Um, I wanted to talk to everybody about what's taking place in, in the astral right now. So if it gets um <clears throat> if it gets confusing in the astral, I'm here to explain to you what's taking place. <clears throat> Okay, so they fucking shot me. <laughs> they shot me. These motherfuckers shot me. So I'm gonna tell you. Last night, this I woke up this morning and I had um I had went to visit my past life, and my guides have been taking me on a serious roller coaster with my past lives. And and if you're <clears throat> remember, Mercury is in retro, so. <clears throat> that usually means that things from the past are going to come up for review and a lot of us are going to be visiting our past lives. So if you've been having crazy ass dreams, um, you're visiting your past lives. So I was at, um, I was at some, some party and like, I guess I was like in hideout cause I had like a uh, clothes, clothes on that like was not me. I was like wearing <coughs> a wig and shit. And um, this girl came and she grabbed me. Um, she actually tricked me. She had some guy, like, tell me which way to go. And I went that way and I followed him. <coughs> Excuse me, let's clear it in the throat. And I followed him. And when I followed him, <clears throat> he wasn't there. And I ended up in some little space. And she had set up, like, the floor and put, like, uh, all of these. Um... <clears throat> <coughs> let's clear it. <coughs> she had put all of these um, things on the floor <clears throat> for me to get shot and killed her name was sue she killed me so she shot me in the head and then she i was like sue don't don't sue don't do this and then she was like that's what happens when you abort the mission and i guess i was an assassin and i left the group of assassins i was a part of an assassination group and i left them and i was in hiding and then they found me and they set me up and then they killed me a lot and then i watched them like stab some guy in the throat like really hard it was stabbing him and then they shot me a couple of times and i think she stabbed me in the neck like right here somewhere and it's funny because i always say right there with my beauty mark is i got killed in a past life from getting shot or stabbed so if you're seeing past lives and and i and i always say this if you have a fear of something from past lives just take a look at that fear because that's that could be a way that you got um killed in a past life <clears throat> for instance i was at one point in my life when i had my own apartment this is years ago years years ago and I, I i remember i was like i need a gun and i don't like guns i'm not a gun person but <clears throat> i was living alone and i was terrified like i was like somebody's gonna come kill me in the middle of the night shoot me stab me and i always thought that and i always thought like some guy did it in a relationship but no it was because i was apparently an assassin and then i left the group and they they executed me so if you're if you're having uh dreams like that you're you're really going to be reviewing your past lives uh, Mercury in retrograde likes to bring back past lovers <clears throat> a lot, <clears throat> but that's because it's unresolved issues with the past lovers. And again, we're we're having this massive things with the, with the throat chakra. A lot of people are dealing with throat chakra activation, throat chakra block blockage, and um, uh, also something about like being uh, your stuff was stolen in a past life, like you got. They took your creative uh, abilities or something like this, and they um they overran you in somehow or another, and this is what I'm hearing. And so I've been getting messages on guns, and I started feeling paranoid about how much they keep showing up. Yes, you know, had a dream my kids that my kids dad killed me on Christmas Eve, yeah, because this is past life stuff, and they're showing you like this is why you have issues with this person in this past, in this lifetime. <coughs> <coughs> You're having issues with this person in this lifetime, whoever you're having issues with, okay? Uh, it's so crazy. I had a dream of a past life last night. I love how this takes me back to show me what needs healing. That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> and one of the reasons I was shown that, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, it's like nonstop. Let's clear it. Um, return to sender, return to sender, clear it in the throat, clear it in the throat. Thank you. Um, whatever is blocking, unblock it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay so um if you're having these dreams you need to be aware that these past lives are, are coming into um you're coming it's like you're gonna be reviewing your past lives here 
Now, <clears throat> if it has if it hasn't happened already, if your exes has has haven't already, what's Wicca Academy? I don't know what that is. Um, <clears throat> if you're uh, ha if it hasn't happened to you already, if your exes haven't started texting you and you haven't started getting the messages, <clears throat> and if there's people that you haven't resolved your issues with, um, I'm, they're gonna come in. It's gonna happen. Um, just be be aware of that because past life stuff and past relationships are coming up for review so that you can review them and you can move forward because this Mercury in retrograde, for a lot of people, it's going to be like this. It's like I'm hearing the final countdown. Da -na -na -na. So like there's a lot of release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you may be having some messages from people from the past. So could beauty marks mean where you got injured in a past life? For me, yes. It's it's a it's a telltale sign. Like uh like my arm in this part right here, I have a beauty mark right there and I always feel like I just feel it like my hand got cut off for stealing in a past life. You know, and um you know, I was stabbed and and my neck was cut a couple of lifetimes shot in a few places definitely my stomach because um also they say where you have pain a lot like where you suffer from pains in your body mm -hmm. when you where you suffer from pains in your body in the specific areas you experience some kind of trauma in a past life that still hasn't been able to heal it for instance my right elbow hurts and i always feel like i was either a tennis player in a past life or something with the arm <clears throat> like I played some kind of sport and I have an injury and it's like still like that injury was career ending though you see what I'm saying too like whatever the injury was it was very traumatic to the point where it's still you still haven't healed from it and so if you're dreaming <clears throat> of past life stuff right now you're sleeping and here's I'm hearing I'm seeing I don't know why I'm seeing like Skender Bell which if you're not Albanian that's actually a fighter and he's he like, you know, he's he saved uh Kosovo from from he saved Albanians. Like he went against his own people to to save the Albanians. And what I'm seeing is you you being either like in a uh army or something, because I'm seeing like those big tall like metal hats. You are you were you were definitely a um <clears throat> excuse me, a warrior in a past life. Um uh I'm hearing I'm hearing I'm hearing Andromedans. So this is galactic too. You definitely were at war in a past life, okay? Turkilla. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. My mom fucking loves those Turkish shows, bro. She watches them all day. But I want to tell you guys, this is important because when this girl shot me in my dream <clears throat> and I woke up, <coughs> spirit wanted me to know her name and everything. Let's clear it in the throat chakra, bro. The throat chakra has been a, it's been a big focus for a lot of us, okay? The creativity, um... It's just been, the throat chakra has been like a fucking, like a, a bitch lately. I don't know if any of you have, have been experiencing stuffy nose, throat, uh, throat fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Oop, I've had dreams that I was in battle and war. Yeah, a lot of us have. My birthmark is up in my hairline above my neck and I've had dreams for decades that I lost my head in a battle. A hundred percent. I have two birthmarks on my hips and my hips hurt most of the times and recently. I'm telling you. Anywhere you have major pain in your body, pay attention to that because in a past life, somebody either killed you there, stabbed you there or something. And then in this lifetime, you have like absolutely no reason, <clears throat> you motherfucker. <laughs> my nose has been like whoever you are that just came on, you just, you clogged my whole nose. Thank you so much. <laughs> like your whole nose is, I just, I somebody here has a horrible deviated septum you have gotten your nose broken many times i don't know <clears throat> if it's in this lifetime but i'm just seeing a nose shattered and i'm here in reconstructive surgery somebody got their nose like fucked up like something about the nose and and <clears throat> trying to fix it and then it's like ears nose and throat a lot of you guys are dealing with tmj very severely i'm hearing tell them to wake up in the morning and do this i pull your jaw down Oh, you motherfucker. Let's clear it. Please clear it. Please, please. Um, <clears throat> you know, last night, last night something happened to me that was very, very weird. And it wasn't scary, but I got to tell you, it was, it freaked me out. I'm sleeping, bitch. I'm sleeping. Listen to this shit. I'm knocked out. You know, when you're just waking up, like you're like, I got to pee. My guides will make me always have to pee at night because... 
<clears throat> because I go through a lot of astral dimensions and they need me to wake up at certain times. Like they take, they're taking me through it. I go through, I'm anyway. Um, I travel through portals, like sometimes very dark places to my guides are taking me. I'm, I'm ripping through dimensions right now. Because I'm clearing a lot of karma. A lot of you guys... Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Blah, sorry. When I start channeling, I'm like... Okay. I'm, I'm sick with a huge sinus and nose and throat and ears. Do some cayenne pepper with ginger, garlic, um, um, <coughs> shots. <coughs> you really need to... My throat... Oh, my God. Let me clear it. Let me clear it real quick. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I was sleeping last night. Does peeing at night mean that that for everyone, or <clears throat> it depends if if you <coughs> yo hold on whoever just came on here. Let me clear this because I'm picking up your whole sickness right now. Give me this. I literally just went from like being fine to like my whole nose and throat and ears. Just like I feel like my whole shit's clogged up. It's just like I picked up your whole sickness. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. And I don't even have boogers. That's like the worst. <coughs> oh my God, bro. Let's clear it. Let's clear it, okay? Um, you got to do some treatment there. Some malane leaf. I'm hearing that. You need to do some malane leaf. This is like, like you have a lot of... <coughs> I'm hearing mucus buildup. Dry throat. That dry throat shit. Oh my God. It's fucking killing you, bro. I get, you know, and like not killing you like that, but... I felt stagnant. So much phlegm. And I'm a singer. Get some malane leaf. Get malane leaf tea. It is amazing for that, okay? I think you picked up my mind, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, I definitely picked it up. It's starting to clear now. <clears throat> it's starting to clear. There we go. It's okay. No, no, don't be sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> leaf of life is really good for colds, coughs, and other things. Okay, that's good. Malane leaf tea is good, too. Do that treatment at least three times a week, you guys. Clean your mu mucus out. Um, cayenne pepper and ginger shots are incredible. Cayenne pepper, ginger, and garlic shots. G to chop up garlic cloves, a little cayenne pepper, or chili, or chili, uh, or I have the actual chili pepper, or you could do a little bit of powder and take that shot. It will just, you'll start sneezing everything out and everything will clear out, okay? You woke up angry today? That's okay. Mercury is in retrograde, man. Don't, don't, don't forget. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so I'm sleeping and what happened was, <clears throat> I've never experienced anything like this in my life. I'm going through these dimensions and voo, 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 in and out. I'm shoo, shoo. My guides are taking me here, there, everywhere. They're showing me a bunch of shit. And then I wake up. And as I'm waking up, no, bitch. I thought somebody came out of my throat. All I, I, they, I went like this. Oh, like something just like, it was like someone else was talking for me. I, I can't even, I didn't even know how to describe that feeling. It was like. Somebody was trying to talk to me. I wasn't paying attention to them. So they used my voice to talk to me. Now, bitch, I'm not for the whole possession shit. And I don't, I don't believe that that's possible. Unless you're at your weakest state. Like if you're in a weak <clears throat> position, a lot of people when they're high or anything like that. That's why it's very, very, very important to be careful who you sleep with. Especially if they're on drugs, guys. Uh, possession, possession can literally take place. Easily when somebody is under the influence, okay? That's why they call alcohol wine and spirits. They call it spirits alcohol because it, actually people that do ceremonies will <clears throat> drink alcohol and allow the spirit to, inha to inhabit their, inhabit, inhabit, habit, whatever, to take over their body so they could channel the messages from spirit, okay? You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say another thing. Another thing, all right? Um, if people from the past relationships, anybody, all your exes that are coming back from Texas right now, whoever's coming back that you're, that's your exes, let me just explain something to you about Mercury and Retrograde. Whoever's trying, even work, business, let's say you're, I'm here in DJ, musician, whatever. <clears throat> even that, if somebody's coming back to you and you, you don't fuck with this person or you do music, and excuse me guys, I know I keep clearing my throat, it's very annoying, but sometimes when I'm getting an important message out, what happens is, it's like, you know, the throat just gets blocked, but we have to push through, right, we have to keep pushing through, we cannot allow the messages to be stopped, okay, chili powder shot, sorry, I just came in, how do you make the chili shot, okay, so you know, chili pepper, in the supermarket, they sell them for like a dollar, okay, uh, in the supermarket, they sell them, they sell them for like a dollar, right, um, <clears throat> 
and um, you buy, uh, what I do is I'll boil water, boil water, make, make sure you boil the water at a certain degree for a certain time just to get all the chemicals out. And then what you want to do is put ginger in the water, boil it with some ginger and let all the ginger seep in, like a cup of water, boil it, let it all boil together and then uh, like crush the chili pepper a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, throw it in there <clears throat> and do that. And you could do apple cider vinegar as well, but then take garlic cloves, garlic cloves, smash some garlic cloves, also put that in the water and then strain the water and take like little warm uh, cayenne pepper, ginger and uh what do you call it shots you could do it straight up like i do but that's like if you want to throw up mucus if you want to throw up mucus the best way to do it is take actual crushed ginger crushed ginger crushed um garlic powder garlic um cloves and a little bit of cayenne pepper mix it together and drink the whole like take the shot you know don't make it too strong you don't want to fuck your stomach up but just enough you know a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that you know what i'm saying then drink it and you will throw up a lot of mucus okay if you really want to throw the mucus up, you know we have mucus backup build up you ever notice i'm not a big fan of throwing up but if you're gonna throw up you ever had to throw up and like you notice mucus comes out after sometimes we're nauseous do you know that nausea comes from mucus build up and backup you ever feel like vertigo or nausea? It's your mucus. Like in the ears, our ears are clogged. We have to clean our ears. I'm hearing that. Some of us need to really clear, clean our ears. And I'm hearing for some of you get the neti potty for your nose. Listen, some of you guys have really bad um uh deviated septum. You know, when you go like go like this with your nose right now just do it i know i'm a weirdo and i really don't care but i'm like sort of like a medium doctor too um <clears throat> not a doctor obviously but you know what i mean go like this to your nostril take it and pull it out like look at the difference look you hear that look you hear that do you know how much air we're missing in our lungs because of that and you know the best way to breathe is through your nose right and so when your nose is clogged and you're not getting that deep breath then you start to feel tired it's like your adrenaline doesn't pump your adrenaline's not pumping and now you feel like you're losing oxygen so go like that with your nose and then do that you see what i'm saying it's like two different worlds go ahead and do that you get like fresh breath some of you just may need to get oh, okay so if you have a room this is specific for somebody <clears throat> spirit wants to come through with this message for somebody here if you have a room with a carpet in it specifically this is a smaller room with a carpet and you sleep in that room there's not much ventilation in there i'm hearing keep your window open as much as you can even if it's cold a little bit don't sleep with the heat blasting all night it is very bad for you <clears throat> it is better to sleep with a little bit of colder actually your body your body heats up anyway at night but i'm telling you right now <coughs> all that bullshit about oh you're gonna catch a cold by being outside that's not true you can get throat stuff like that you don't catch colds from being colder you know what i'm saying to you i would if somebody has yeah you could get of course you get mucus from smoking a lot i smoke cigarettes and i have to do mucus cleanses every three days i buy i have the malane leaf the actual tea it's ready right now in my pot and every day i drink a glass of that <coughs> and it cleans out my mucus during the night I can feel it. And then when I wake up in the morning, all of this stuff comes out, especially if you're a smoker. But let me tell you something. Even if you're not a smoker, people get mucus, you know, like them green loogies and all that. I know it's gross. I really don't care. This is about our health. And we know humans do weird things. We poop. We, we puke. We do all these weird, gross things. But it's what our body needs to do in order to release these things that are holding us you know, stagnant and, you know, ad adrenal glands, your adrenal, that's adrenaline, right? <clears throat> when your adrenal glands don't have enough oxygen, blood flowing through them, you, you feel weak and tired and all that stuff. The heat will have you dry choking in the night. Honestly, my house, and it's, I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap. If you come to my house right now, it's at a perfect temperature. I do not keep the heat on all day. I'm not a fan of like breathing in that 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 false heat. You understand? That window's got to be open. That's why I like my window right next to my bed. I'll crack it open a little bit. I get some fresh air all night. And I I honestly have to because I can't breathe if not. I don't like the heat. I'm not a heat person. I actually go outside right now in the winter in New York and I wear my slippers and I feel great. I'm like, 
ah, you know what I'm saying? Like when it's summertime, I'm like, <gasps> I'm joking. You know, I don't know. I don't like the heat. I'm not a fan. Hey, babe. Okay, so um, what I'm saying to you guys here is past lives are coming up for review. I mean, your guys are really taking you through the dimensions. Like I see them like have you on a rope, like you're on a rope and they're like Phew! pulling you in from portal to portal and you're going through them very quickly. So yeah, it's a little bit tiring, okay? Because you can wake up feeling like, like you just traveled through dimensions. Yeah, because you are. You're waking up. Uh, whoever this is for, I don't know who you are, but the right bottom side of my stomach, <clears throat> right above my my uh, my private area, whoever you are, if you're getting sharp pains there, you might have some of you. Okay, you got to go check your cysts. If you have cysts, you know, make go to make check, check to make sure that, that they didn't burst on you because the right side of my stomach is it feels like a, uh, I'm here is cystic fibrosis five cystic cystic fibrosis I don't know that's what I'm hearing um ah okay let's clear it who has that on the right side of the stomach so it can go away from me let's clear it let's clear it let's clear it clear it clear it clear it clear it clear it let's clear it clear it clear it which one of you is dealing with that does the, the Pain in the lower part of the the belly by the vagina area, right on top of it, right on the right side. Damn, you picking me up again. Go to the doctors, bro. You might have a a, a ruptured cyst there. You need to check it out. Fibroids, something. Yeah, I I keep hearing ruptured. I do on my left boob. I don't know about my stomach. However, I throw up clear mucus a lot. <clears throat> okay, so this message is coming through for somebody. All the messages that were coming through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I would feel like you. Okay, so I know, I know, okay. So um, so you're definitely, for the women in here, you're dealing with, um, <clears throat> um, what is this called? I, I know the name of it. Endometriosis. Uh, pain during sex, I'm hearing, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not to be gross, but if, if a guy has a big penis, like, you can't take it. And it's not to be gross, but it's because... Uh, so endometriosis is when the pelvic floor is lower and it's your vaginal wall and your canal for your pelvic floor they're too close together so it's like there's no space up there they're not they're not separated so it's almost like something can't go straight up usually women with this have to have c-sections because uh they're almost like their vagina instead of going straight up from down it goes like almost like a, a corner and it goes down you know what i'm saying and the endometriosis i was told that i had that because when i told them that i had like really bad cramps and i was saying all this shit and uh pain during sex because i get that and they were like oh you have endo endometriosis but it's also because of the cysts and the fibroids fibroids cysts over ovaries are usually riddled with tumor like things yeah and that's why i'm saying um it's i feel like some of us need to do a detox cleanse i actually have the yoni pearls and it like detoxes your uterus and your ovaries and your, your vaginal walls and stuff. I haven't used it yet, but I'm, I think I might try to do that after um, after my cycle is done. Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That's a message. You know, it's a message. Like, spirit will come through with the messages, right, when, when people need them. But you are... Exp oh, my bad. Oh, my God, you guys. We're not... Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... That's, that can be my pain. I'm not feeling my own pain, am I? No, somebody right here has got some bad pain in the middle part of their back. You guys, I'm feeling all your stuff. <laughs> Mamacita, senorita, my titties hurt, my back hurt, everything fucking hurt me right now. You guys are fucked up, huh? Y'all need to get some fucking healing. Everybody fucked up out here. Okay, so yeah, so you're, <laughs> you're about to DJ All Star. Listen to me. Whoever you are that's got that back pain in the middle of your motherfucking back. You need to get that shit checked out. <laughs> shit, bitch. Ah, my back. <laughs> Yo, my whole shit just started fucking hurting out of nowhere. I mean, God loyal. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no lie. Yo. Damn, bitch. I wish I could just give you a massage. I'm the best masseuse. But see, oh, thank you for clearing that because that shit hurt like a motherfucker. I came on and all of a sudden, look, look at my throat now. How come my voice doesn't sound like before? You know what I'm saying? It's because I come on, I'll feel everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? This one got that, that one. 
It's rotated pelvic bones. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know. You keep picking me up. God damn. I'm so sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> Trauma. God damn. I'm so sorry. God damn. You keep picking me up. God damn. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Just take care of yourself. I, your smile. Look, man, whoever you are on the right side of the like, can't. You can't. You, I can't even hang out with you guys the whole time. I'll be like, yo, are you, um, you have to pee. You'd be like, why? I'd be like, because I just peed. You got to pee, right? You'd be like, how'd you know that? I'm like, because I feel like I got to pee. Go pee, bro. Come on, come on. Go pee because I feel like I'm going to pee myself. You know, okay. So whoever you are with the right side of the back, it's literally right side in the middle, right next to my spine. <sighs> next to my spine. Whoever you are with that right side of the back, oh, you need to, something's going on there. You got to stretch it. You might have pulled something there, okay? <clears throat> yeah, you definitely pull the muscle right there. Oh, God. Whoever's left side of your hip is hurting. Right here. Aki. Ben, Aki. Aki. Aki, okay? <laughs> Whoever's hip hurting there. Oh, my God. You bitch. Oh, mama. Right here, you poor baby. Oh, ay, yay, yay, yay. I'm leaving this life. That's it. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. I can't even get on a fucking live without everybody feeling everybody's shit. <laughs> so, Matt, I missed you when you were to 46 Lounge a while back ago. We have mutual friends. Oh, yeah. Too bad you missed me because cause you ain't going to see me at a club or a lounge anytime soon. I'm fucking lying, bitch. If I find a good club or a good lounge, I'm going. Okay. I'm going to go there with my gray hairs. <laughs> Be like, hey, poppy, how you doing? Call me. No. They're like, you don't get your gray hair ass out of here. Anyway, okay, look. Um, a lot of exes are coming back. Anybody had this uh, this here shenanigan take place yet? <laughs> it's okay. Though. No, listen, Angelica, once I point out, hey, Maneri, my love, once I point out the problem areas and someone says, that's me, I don't feel the pain no more. It'll just be like two seconds, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. what am I doing for New Year's Eve so um <clears throat> I don't know my sister kind of wants to go out but I don't know if I like going out on New Year's Eve I'm not really like ugh, I don't really I think like people on on those kind of holidays they have they be acting crazy okay so um yeah if your exes have been coming back if your exes have been coming back already which mine <clears throat> I had a few of them tap in tune in today and yesterday and i was like like i don't even get shocked anymore when they text me during mercury and retrograde i'm always like <laughs> but that's because you know what it is their soul is telling them like you fucked up with this one you know you you gotta do something you fucked up with this chick you know what i'm saying i wasn't perfect either but i was always a very loyal and good girl friend you know good girlfriend when i had a boyfriend or a girlfriend <laughs> you know yeah they got in contact with my cousin just to get to me mm-hmm Mm, honey boo boo it's gonna be like that for a minute right now better get get used to that shit them exes is coming back right now they're, com they're coming back shans <laughs> they're coming back because they you know what they know they fucked up with you they're like damn bro you know what oh shit i'm getting a message here for you you know what's funny you know what spirit just said you need to tell them because they'll they'll resonate with this <clears throat> you know those exes that like when when you guys broke up all of a sudden they started trying to act like you're fucking crazy and you're the, the psycho one because they were ready to like leave so they didn't know how else to leave. So they made you out to look like the bad guy. Now they're like, their guides are like telling them like, you need to resolve this. You fucked up. This was you. Like, they're, you know when something starts hitting you? Okay. Somebody here was supposed to be with you. This is a message for somebody. Somebody here was supposed to be with you. They wanted to be with you, but like, it almost feels like baby mama. Damn, bitch. The fuck? Let me see that without that filter. Okay. It almost feels like baby mom. I was like, damn, bitch. Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is literally why I'm single. Okay. Baby mom. It feels like somebody's baby's mother was keeping them like financially stuck. And so they, I don't know if this is baby's mother or ex-wife, but you know, this feels like somebody, <clears throat> you motherfucker. I got a frog in my throat. This feels like somebody who's like, me, 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 me. <clears throat> this feels like somebody who was supposed to be with you. Damn. I don't know if somebody had a lawsuit or something. Whoever this is for, I don't know. This is coming through. I don't know if somebody had a lawsuit or has a lawsuit coming up and this person 
wouldn't break up with them just because they knew they were getting this money. And this person wants to be with you, but they can't be with you because this other person won't let them go. They got them financially. They <coughs> Porcelain. They got them financially on a leash. You, you know what I'm saying to you? Mm-hmm. Look, whoever you were supposed to... <coughs> This is a twin flame energy. Uh, ha, 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 I can't breathe. <laughs> I am literally going to be single forever <laughs> if I keep doing shit like this. Okay. Whoever this is, <clears throat> you mad that. That's it. That's it. I'm taking charge of this. I'm, I'm doing something about it. I'm sick of this bullshit. Please give me a moment because I'm about to stab myself in the throat. My guy with the fugazi. Okay. So whoever this is, <coughs> whoever this is, was supposed to be with you. Be so for real. Be so for real. These kids with these stupid ass sayings. Dumbass kids with their dumbass sayings. Okay. So whoever was supposed to be with you, motherfucker, let me get the message out. They, um, it's like they're financially being held back by somebody who is supposed to be with you. You feel me? Do you understand me? I don't know who this message is for. It's very weird, but it's very, very true. You shut the fuck up. Mommy, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Never! Starve to death! Okay, so <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> okay, so, all right, let's get into it. Okay. So the way I feel here, so the way I feel here is this. You have somebody you're supposed to be with. This person is your match. They're your friend. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, you know, um, I was watching, I listened to comedy on, on Pandora on the way to like when I drive places. And what's his name? Aziz Ansar, Asari, Ansari, whatever his name is. He was, I was hanging out with, I was hanging out with Kanye West one day and he goes, he goes in the bathroom and was taking, he was taking a while and he comes out and he goes, the best shit I ever heard in my life. He comes out, he goes to me, I just want you to know I wasn't in there taking a shit. I had an important phone call. <laughs> Like, I'm like, yo, that's me right there. Like, Kanye, I am just like that retard. Anyway, um, you know, just want to make it clear. I wasn't taking a shit out of important phone call. Mm -hmm. All right, so this person, you're supposed to be with them, right? Starve to death. Okay. I don't know. I always say that to her when she's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, starve to death. Okay, so I, I literally starved to death in a past life, though. Okay. So this person that you were supposed to be with, this person was a, um, was married. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing four kids. I'm hearing nine, 17, 12, and four. So I don't know. Those are the numbers I'm hearing. And they're mar they were married to a his Hispanic woman. She has... That like Spanish red hair, like reddish brown hair. I'm hearing a lawsuit. They want to be with you. They can't because this person has them legally on their ass. Okay, can't believe that. they shot you, bro. <laughs> they shot me, bro. That bitch shot me. Her name was Sue. Sue, I forgive you, Sue. I forgive you, Sue. I went out like a G, but I, I left the assassination group. So the bitch was like, you got to die now. Because she was like, I was like, Sue, don't do it. She was like, that's what happens when you abort the mission. Pa, 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 pa. I was like, oh, shit. I woke up like, <gasps> shit, I got shot in the past life. That shit is gangster, bro. <laughs> but, you know, I killed a lot of people. So I got I got what was coming to me. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> It's better than the drug dealer dream I had when I was, like, fucking running a whole fucking building. I was, like, fucking uh, Carlos Santana and fucking Washington Heights or some shit like that. <laughs> I swear to God. I also owned a jewelry store in a past life. 
and I was like robbing myself and then like claiming insurance money. Damn, I was a schemer my whole fucking every lifetime, every time. Now I'm stealing at Target. Like, come on, Flo, get it together. Haven't you learned your karmic lessons yet? I know, but it's so easy to swipe the tag numbers. I mean, like, my daughter's room was supposed to cost four hundred. It only cost me one ninety-seven forty-five. I don't know. <laughs> Target's gonna come after me. <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. I was not paying two hundred dollars for that dresser. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm gonna just real quick switch this two hundred for seventy nine ninety nine. You know what I mean? Mm. Gotta do what you gotta do with single bonds out here. You know? Thank you, Target. <laughs> for real. So yeah, because of that, she got all this. <laughs> Thanks to moms, <laughs> super mom. <laughs> That's me, super mom up in this bitch. Anyway, so, yeah, so enough with me, uh, you know, getting myself, put on, put myself on trial here. Let's get back to the to the messaging. <laughs> I paid for something. Oh, shit. I paid for most of it. <laughs> I paid for most of it. I'm saying, you know, these sheets on my bed, these shit's like $120 and like $59.99. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I like the silk shit. Y'all sharing? Y'all mean? Yeah, I mean, you gotta call the Amazon and be like, I never received a package. <laughs> but it's too hard with Amazon. So, <laughs> you see that chair right there? <laughs> that chair right there? <laughs> I ordered that online and when it came, and I ordered it <coughs> from, let me, okay, I think Spirit's like, stop telling her yourself. I don't give a fuck. I ordered that chair from Wayfair, <laughs> that chair from Wayfair, before I knew they were selling children on there. And then, because, yeah, they were selling $10,000 carpets. I don't know if you know about that. Uh, you can't be stealing mandalas, <laughs> bad juju. <laughs> so th that chair right there, when it came, I, I sent them a picture of that little tiny scratch right there. And I was like, this chair has a scratch on it. And they were like, okay, we'll refund you the money. I was like, no, 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 just send me another one. And I got my mom one for the living room. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't give fucks. You cheat on us. You cheat on us. I cheat on you right back, motherfucker. And I'm Robin Hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Let's tell them all this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know what? Everybody does it. Just no nope. you were thinking it. I just said it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so <sighs> you know if Adam Amazon delays your order, they're supposed to refund you the full credit, and if you still receive the package, you're supposed to keep it. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. So if you were, you were dating somebody, you were, okay, no, no, you weren't dating them. That's the thing. This is the weirdest part about this message. You, you guys were together. All right, here we go. Okay, I got a specific person coming through. Uh, I got to say I'm here in Brooklyn, New York. I see a girl with black, long hair. And I see her kind of like uh, yeah, Italian, like bougie, kind of like, you know what I mean? Talking like that and shit. And she like played a guy out. I'm hearing he's got blonde hair or or dirty blonde hair. She played you out, bro. Like, whoever you are, uh, she, um, I don't know if you were making a lot of money at this time, but I feel like she was, like, making you buy her stuff, okay? So, I don't know who that's for. That's a message. And I'm hearing good riddance, bro. Good riddance. Thank God. Like, fuck that bitch. Uh, ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that's just what I'm hearing, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing... It's either they like leopard or something with leopard. Something with leopard, I'm hearing. Uh, okay, so there's definitely this message coming through for some, some of you. Your twin flame is being uh, held back by somebody who's uh, keeping them, like I said, financially. And uh, they got them tied to a financial chain is what I'm hearing. They're not going to let them go. Okay. This person's... Ah, you motherfucker. This person still wants to be with you, though. Whoever this is. Every every woman in Brooklyn is leopard. <laughs> every Russian, right? The Ruskies! <laughs> Ruski. <laughs> we used to fight Russian with whim, witches, I was going to say. Because all Albanian men cheat on their wives with Russian, Russian women. I don't know if you guys know this is a thing in Brooklyn. And growing up in Brooklyn, like my cousins, we used to find out like my uncle would cheat on his wife with a Russian girl. And then we'd go like find her and be like, Larayaska, <laughs> we're going to beat you. <laughs> you know, and they'd be like beating Larayaska up in the fucking building. <laughs> you know, stay away from my uncle, you whore. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Ew. Fuck you, asshole. Um, there's some, like... <clears throat> okay. Get the pierogies. Imagine. Imagine both the twin flame and the person we're talking about are both in this love and don't even know it. For for sure. For sure. So do... <clears throat> I don't know. Have... Have... Uh, have... Is it busy? Have any of you guys ever experienced a scary sexual situation? <laughs> a scary se sexual situation with like an entity? Or even a good one. I'm hearing for some of you, a good one. Because there's a reason why I'm asking. Because last night I had a dream about this this entity and he was like... He like fucking did all this weird shit and that like hit him and I hit him in the face with a snowball. It was weird. I was like motherfucker, douche, and I hit him in the face. Okay, <laughs> not orange. It's a new black. It was not scary though. Just weird. Mm -hmm. Has anybody else ever experienced a sexual um encounter with uh something that that wasn't there? And I'm talking like you woke up and like <clears throat> like you were straight up. <laughs> Maybe you guys were doing ghost coke together. <laughs> that ghost coke. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm in a goofy ass mood right now. <laughs> that ghost coke. Okay. I feel like for those of you who guys are gonna be those of you those of you who guys are gonna be experiencing your exes coming back to talk to you. <clears throat> you're going to be experiencing this like now it's coming in now like it's and i have several times <laughs> yeah me too itty itty bitty mm -hmm. <laughs> cool snow <laughs> i have several times too as well and uh it's one of the reasons why i'm like so weird about like sexual encounters now because of what i've experienced with actual humans in the 3d form and then actual spirits in the spirit realm and I'm like, it pisses me off. But anyway, whatever you are on, I want it. And I need it now. <laughs> okay. So this thing that I'm on is called, I don't know what drug this is. If you could call it what I do, what I, when I get in channeling mode and I start seeing different scenarios and different people's lives playing in my head and start feeling everybody's pain. Um, I don't know what you could call that. Like maybe the, 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 the placebo effect. Ooh, the placebo drug. Yes, they are coming left and right, whatever you're on. Oh, yeah. All right, so um, this is a specific message, though, for some of you guys. I'm hearing don't go backwards. Uh, if you if you feel like this person and you were not going to make it before, it's like don't go backwards. I'm hearing don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I'm like, you can do it. I'm hearing don't do it. You know, somebody's going, don't do it. Like, ah, don't do it. Okay. <clears throat> Just got sharp pain on my right ankle, so I don't know who that's for. Uh, Okay. So real quickly, because uh, I, I really just wanted to give that quick message and let you know that you're going to don't go back. You're going to be seeing your past lives. They're coming up for review. Uh, <clears throat> there's a big choice that you're going to make for some of you. Uh, some kind of big ass decision here. It's coming in. I see a teardrop. Somebody's going to be crying tears of joy. Uh, for some of you, I'm seeing a hamster wheel, so don't, you can do it, you can do it, oh, I love Adam Sandler's movies, I'm seeing a, uh, a, a hamster wheel, so for those of you who are, <clears throat> don't go back, don't, <clears throat> I'm hearing, don't go breaking my heart, don't do the same thing over and over again, please, remember, yeah, porcelain, I told you straight up, yo, <laughs> Be like, for me, it's the $300 bottle with the Mountain View. Fuck you, mom. Fuck you. <laughs> you know that? It's like, we don't go after people that buy us stuff. But like, when somebody takes an initiative to get you something that you like, and I listened, like, for instance, I met you, let's say, uh, hypothetically speaking, at a Christmas party. And you remembered what I said to you at a Christmas party. And I, two, three, a, a month later, you hit me up or like two weeks, three weeks later, or or even a week later, you hit me, you hit me up going, what's your address? Cause I want to send you something. And it's like, what? And then they send you what you were talking about at the Christmas party. Like this motherfucker was listening to me. Oh shit. You know, they were listening to you. They care about you. 
You could tell my story about the guy. Yeah, so she went to a Christmas party, and then the dude, he's like a big time music producer or whatever. And he went to, she went to a, a, a Christmas party, and she was talking about like a, a bottle she liked. And then the dude hit her up a week later, was like, I wanna send you something. He sends her the fucking bottle. She was talking about the exact same bottle through like bougie Postmates. I don't know what they have in LA. What is that? <laughs> me talking to my phone don't do it bougie what is it called bougie post app <laughs> maybe i was some weird shit in la but she got she got some some gift from like bougie post app and he's got like a mountain view and he got money he's like i'm like bitch fuck everybody else go to him you know anyway i'm gonna tell you guys something i really feel like those of you who are seeing past lives here it's to work with it, not to be afraid of it. Postmates, bougie Postmates. No, it's just regular Postmates. I thought it was bougiepostmates.com or some shit. Um, if somebody's like in love with you here, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Aries. Aries. Invited me to Miami this week for New Year's Eve. <clears throat> I know. Oh, girl. Girl. If I only had the penis right now. <laughs> I'm hearing Tesla. So. You should be a bougie Postmates delivery woman and steal all the items. <laughs> I'll be like, ma'am. Uh, I was driving and I stopped at McDonald's. Left my car in the parking garage. I went in the store. I go back in the car, and your your thing wasn't in there. And if you call my company and you tell them that your iPad wasn't in the back seat of my car, I'll get fired. So what you should do is call Postmates and tell them that you uh I don't know lost the package or <laughs> something. <clears throat> you 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 re 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 rained oh re, you rained. You rained? Not McDonald's. Ew, I hate McDonald's. Next live, you can do it. Be it about 2023. Okay. Oh, bro. Don't call me bro, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, bro. I'm not your bro, ho. Bro, bro. <gasps> what? Bro, bro. I will show every. Don't you. Caught you, bitch. Caught you. Ooh. Elia, you look way too innocent. You're, you're like all like. She's too innocent to be given a finger. Okay. Did you steal anything from Bad Girls Club? When I was, when I was on Bad Girls Club, we went to the mall together. All the girls. This is true true story. Went to the mall together, all of us. We were like, I don't know where the fuck we were. And we went to this like diner, this, this restaurant, Buffalo Wings something. And when I went inside and I went by the front door, I took, um, I'll tell you another story about stealing. I'm telling you, I was a thief in my, professional thief in my past life. That's why I have dreams about the jewelry store. And um, I took t-shirts and thongs and I walked out with it, just walked right out. And then I said, I go to the security guard. Hey, security guard. He goes, yeah. And I was like, I stole these. And he was like, Okay. And I just kept walking. I was like to the girls, do you see when you do it in front of everybody, nobody pays attention to you. Nobody pays attention to you. Then we went to CVS and I taught them how to steal a lip gloss. And so what I did was when you're buying something else, you buy something else, then you take the lip gloss and you walk around the store and you just start using it. It's like, you're, like it's your own. So when you go to the front and you're paying for everything, you're putting the lip gloss on, you put it in your bag, they don't even pay attention because it's done right in front. What's happening in front of the eyes, nobody sees. What you do behind their back, they notice right away. You're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't try this at home. Please don't go to jail. <laughs> Please. I don't want anybody calling me. It's your fault I'm in jail over a lip gloss. But don't steal, you know? Unless you have to. I'm kidding. 90% of us don't have to. We just do it because we can get away with it. <laughs> Did all the girls on the BGC, on the BGC know you're a medium? No, because I, I, I didn't even know yet. But I will tell you a story. I, follow me for more tips. <laughs> so I will tell you a story. Imagine I made a whole YouTube video on how to professionally steal from stores. That would be crazy. I'd get a million views in an instant. Okay, so um, 
when when I was on the show, uh, and I, you know, I'm just talking about this for this reason because I realize now when I look back, I'm like, oh my god, I've been, I've been psychic my whole life. I remember Natalie had a fight with a couple of the girls, and there was I'll never forget this. Um, I told her I was like, yo, she goes, she goes, Flo, I lost my grandmother's earring the earring she gave me my grandmother just died she left me that earring and i remember saying to her <clears throat> and she went in the room she had the towel on and she was in the confess confessional room and i said to her you got to stop doing what they want you to do bro your grandmother's literally talking to you you're losing your the earring you're losing this you're losing that and she was like you're right you're right and she was like crying in the confessional and she was like you're right and i was hugging her and telling her like relax and all that then again it happened and her she lost her grandmother's ring the ring she gave her and i said natalie i'm telling you, your grandmother is saying stop listening to me. her grandmother the whole time was telling her like to stop fighting with people stop doing what they want you to do stop listening to production and stop being their little bitch and i remember saying that to her and now that i look back on that i didn't realized that I was giving her a message from her grandmother and she wasn't hearing it. Then I told her, I was like, I'm telling you, yo, that there's a devil in this house. Remember, I was like, this house got the devil in it. I said, this house got the devil in it. The next day, this is a fucking true story. Ask anybody. Uh, this is real, real facts. I, I was screaming, this house got the devil in it. The next day we sat down by that big round table in the middle of the thing. And she opened up a bottle, a Snapple bottle. And inside of the Snapple bottle, it said the devil is in the details. She was like, what the fuck, Flo? Are you a witch? And I was like, I think so. She was like, yo, everything you've been saying has been coming true. I'm like, I know, bro. It's, it happens to me my whole life. You know, when people saw me on All-Star Battle flipping the coin and I was like, should I, should Judy go home or should whatever go home? They thought I was flipping a coin and I was crazy, but what they didn't realize that I know my guys were telling me what to do the whole time I was being guided and didn't even realize it. Yeah, that's what people need to understand. Just because you don't know what you're doing at the moment. Now that I look back at it, Whoa. I know exactly. Whoa, Marm. Look at that beautiful hair. Ashka bushka, mama tushka. Ashka. Can, 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 can you not record me? Can you not record me? Come hither, my child. Can you not record me? Okay. Can you just tell me? Can I just tell you what something? Yeah. Okay, no. You're the one who pointed it to your face. No, I pointed it by there. <laughs> With you the wall? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay. Uh, anyway, you guys, I love you. I'm gonna see you guys later. Anyway, let me go um deal with this little monster. Go, you said don't be shy. It's okay. It's your car. Okay. It's okay, um, yo, son. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. My daughter beats me, calls someone. Ah, help! Okay, I'll see you guys later. All right, I'll be back later. Use it for weave. <laughs> I'm about to get a weave in my hair. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. I want baby hairs, but I think feel like I'll look so stupid with those shits. Look, <laughs> gray. Edges? How you gonna have ba gray baby edges? <laughs> gray baby edges. You mean edges? I guess, yeah. Bro, no. Bro, no. You're just gonna embarrass yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right. I like embarrassing myself, though. It's fun. Ay! <laughs> she squeezed my butt cheeks. I did not. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'll come back later, okay? I'll come back later, because let me go. Let me go deal with this little annoying monster that I have next to me right here. See how she follows Stop, me? Just okay, bye. Cut.